Their last meeting was in 2019. Now it's being reported Kim Jong-un will travel from Pyongyang to the port city of Vladivostok, likely by armoured train. It's expected Vladimir Putin will offer Moscow's advanced military technology in exchange for a supply of artillery shells and anti-tank missiles for the war in Ukraine. That's despite the Russian president's assertion the Ukrainian counter-offensive is failing. It is not stalling, it is a failure. In any case, it looks this way as of today. Let us wait and see what comes next. The comments came after a meeting with Turkey's leader, where the two failed to agree to revive the Black Sea grain deal that Russia abandoned in July. We will be ready to consider the possibility of reanimating the grain deal. I once again told President Erdogan about this today, and we will do this as soon as all the agreements on lifting restrictions on the export of Russian agricultural products, which are recorded in it, are fully implemented. Our position is very simple, that the Black Sea Grain Initiative should be restored. Secondly, it should be restored not at the expense of blackmail, fulfilling the demands of Russian Federation, because there were no legal and political grounds for Russia to withdraw from the agreement. The deal allowed Ukrainian grain to be safely exported from its ports and was meant to ease a global food shortage that's hit some African countries particularly hard. The Turkish president says he's hoping it will be revived and that Ukraine should soften its approach to Russia. But with Kyiv reporting its counter-offensive is making long-awaited gains on both the eastern and southern fronts, that's unlikely anytime soon. Lauren Beldy, ABC News.